Good morning. <clears throat> uh, oh. Hmm. Today is the 25th. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Deuteronomy 6, 7. The time with our children passes so quickly. Our babies are so soon riding bikes and then driving cars, and before we know it, leaving home. All the while, we influence them. We communicate values and establish patterns for them to follow, one generation passes to the next, a method of living, a way of relating, a desire for learning, a model of faith. Of course, children may adjust those patterns in their own adult lives. Oftentimes, they improve upon family patterns, yet sometimes they choose a rocky path as they reject virtues with their parents hold dear. dear. But even then... When truth has been taught from their youth, they have a map to bring them home. Our responsibility as parents is to lovingly share with our children what is sacred to us. We must live our belief. By precept and example, we must let our children know what we believe. We must let them feel our love for them and for the God who made them. Okay, today is uh, Exodus 4, verses 16 through the end, whatever that is, 31, 16 through 31. Okay, um, oh, in these verses, the Lord is finishing calling Moses, um, and um, he says, Aaron shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and you shall be to him instead of a god. And um, and he goes, and on the way, it's very confusing, but on the way, the Lord wants to kill Moses because he hasn't circumcised his children yet. And uh, Zipporah, his wife, she circumcises the child instead. And, um, and so he lets Moses live. Um, but you don't know that, that that's what's happening until, until Z it says Zipporah cut off the son's foreskin. Um, and then they go to Egypt and he does wonders and... The children of Israel worship. That's basically what's happening in these verses. Um, so anyways, the prophet is a spokesman for God, and sometimes the Lord provides a spokesman for a prophet also. In the dispensation of the fullness of times, the Lord provided Sidney Rigdon as a spokesman for the prophet Joseph Smith. The expression, I the Lord will harden Pharaoh's heart, should have been translated, Pharaoh will harden his heart against me the Lord according to the Joseph Smith translation. Joseph Fielding Smith has written, The Lord does not harden the hearts of men, they harden their own hearts. In the scripture where it says the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, it is a mistranslation in every case. In the correct verses of the inspired version, the Lord said to Moses, And Pharaoh will harden his heart, as I said unto thee, and thou shalt multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. Uh, the Joseph Smith translation makes it clear that the Lord's displeasure with Moses on this occasion was because Moses failed to circumcise his son as was required of the covenant people. Because of his failure to meet this requirement, Moses was ashamed and hid his face from the Lord and said, I have sinned before the Lord. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if I have anything to expound upon that. Um, no, I don't. Okay. 
I still don't, I don't have anything figured out yet for, for, um, my prayers or, or anything, but I, I do enjoy leaving you with, with these. Um, so this is for Palm Sunday, I guess, which, which is coming up. Yeah, we've got one week left in March and then this next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend is General Conference. Our Lord, our good Redeemer, who dost draw near to the passion of our redemption, a gentle rider on a gentle beast, thy path quickly strewn with branches and palms of triumph, triumph waved for thee together with the uplifted voice of praise, we beseech thy divine majesty to be pleased to receive the homage of our lips and the subjection of our bodies unto fasting, and grant that we may bring forth fruit to perfection, that even as these came forth to meet thee bearing branches of trees, so we, when thou dost come again in thy glory, may be found worthy to run before thee with gladness, bearing the palms of victory in our hands. And that's a gothic missile. All right. That was Gen Exodus 4, 16 through 31. 